If you're having trouble staying prepared for winter waves, I got the solution. My name is Kyle Russ with Hydro Mind. I'm here in my living room right now. So for paddle strength, there's two types of endurance. There's uh, long-term endurance for serving longer sessions, then there's power recruitment. And as you know, paddle strength is like running with your arms. So you lose that really quick, especially when the swell's down all summer, and then winter can catch you off guard, and then you're not serving well. So this is what I did to do to prepare when I'm not surfing, when I'm traveling away from the coast for work, or when the swell's down in the summer. So. I do high, high intensity interval training. Now science has shown that high intensity interval training, so doing really high intense work, cardio workouts in a short period of time, far outperforms doing hours of low intensity cardio workout. So getting better results in a short amount of time is pretty uh, easy choice. Now for me, because we know paddle strength is upper body endurance, I would use the ropes. Problem with the ropes is my, I would do a set and my arms would be dead and I wouldn't even be breathing that hard so I couldn't, have my lungs catch up to it. So I do a thing where I alternate here. So I add it in the bike and I alternate back and forth. Now, science has shown that the Tabata set is the best. That's named after a Japanese physiologist. So the ratio is 20 seconds of high intensity exercise, 10 second rest, eight sets. So, and that's what I would do with the ropes. And after eight sets, I'd be dead. I'd be smoked, my arms, but not my lungs so much. So I add in the bike. So I alternate back and forth. So I'm going upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body, while still taxing the breath every time. So I'm able to do um, more than double. So I'll do, uh, I do sets of 16 now, back and forth, back and forth. Super intense on the lungs, really kills it, and it's great for burning fat and amazing for building um, cardio endurance for certain long session, but power recruitment too. So you'll be able to recruit that power when you're low on oxygen, so your body's gonna adapt to having low oxygen. So if you wanna say prepare for winter swells, I'm just gonna do a little demonstration here and you'll see how it goes. Now, normally I would do this stuff in the gym, but the heater went out and it's winter in Canada, so we're moving to the living room. Now, setup cost for this are about $270, $70 for the ropes, $200 for the bike, and I use a YouTube video called the Tabata Timer, and it goes on loop for three hours of 20 seconds and 10 seconds, just like a Tabata is supposed to be. So 20 seconds of the rope, nasal breathing only, 10 second rest, and then 20 seconds on the bike. Now this has huge benefits for cardio endurance, muscular endurance, and for fat burning. Best part is it takes about one tenth the time as traditional cardio. So no more death marching hours of cardio. This has all the benefits and more in a fraction of the time. So I nasal breathe for as long as I can, but eventually at some point I'll start mouth breathing about halfway or three quarters of the way through. And to do this, do it about three to five times a week and you will have all the benefits of an endurance, an endurance triathlete or marathon runner. And that'll obviously have great carryover to surfing when you do the upper body part as well with the ropes. My name is Kyle Russ. Thanks for watching. Peace.